<coughs> Geeky greetings, everybody. I'm Foxy King, and welcome back to Dream Daddies. Last episode, we met a lot of new daddies. It was met from the coffee shop, and our neighbor Joseph came with a plate of cookies. And on our way home, we met Crack, our old college buddy of Row. And then Amanda asked us to leave the new place alone for her and her friends to make a sleepover and we decided to go and watch the game. Let's see what kind of game it will be. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Eh? Hey, don't forget that you have a meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, we the next study. Oh, right, Mr. Wager. Yep, totally remembered. Um, I got a brain like an elephant and never forget anything. I'll be there. Kind of. Don't skip, skip the corners, yeah. Your tires really appreciate it. Oh, sleep's important, make sure you're getting enough. Well, I guess I really didn't think some plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bore is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and uh, walk in it to, um, where do I, um, that way, right? Good. Okay, we're marching in the direction of the game. Yeah, any game. In the distance. Could it be? A big burned out nail sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's. Oh, alright. Let's check it out. Oh, it's cozy. This looks like my kind of place. I prefer a bar or any kind of club anytime. A nice cocktail and some pool games would yeah, be much better than uh, music so loud that you can't understand your own thought. It's a bar small and dimly lit as a crack of pool board sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights over the over above the board tender. I can't tell if he's a Jim or a Kim and I pull a seat at the bar. What'll it be? A beer, please? Sure thing, boss. I'm not the boss. Jack wouldn't appreciate, you know, Jack Saplica, he's the boss. The partner slides me a nice cold beer, I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Saying, Are you Jim or Kim? No, I'm Neil. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I awkwardly turned my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have been, my team of preference is not only playing, but currently on the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of an animal, does cartwheels. I summoned to cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a friend or the opposing team. Yeah, so... You should have an argument? Talk to other people? Disgusting shouted. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team and disliked. Also, I believe from the demeanor that, like me, the passion for the team is all in good and fun. Yeah, no arguments in this bar, I think. Hey! A middle aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits comfortably close to me. You look like a pickup lady. Hey, sailor! Oh, uh. Hi. Ah. You get to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary, come here often. Fresh meat. So, you know all the guys in the town, I think? Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm, I'm Kay, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep up, uh, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, hey. I love the team and I also love the game. I love someone who knows the way around. Balls. Yeah, I know way around balls. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. A little more. Um, hmm. Buy a girl a drink? No. You're drunk, you're trying to pick on me. No. No, Mary. Go. Please. Hit on another guy. Shh. Go. Um, maybe some other time. Sit you safe and say that. Yeah. God. Mary's son is off setting a science on a new spa for the trend. I told you. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten 
close in terms of point than too close to an enemy that I'm comfortable with. After a particular skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! That's a brooding man from the coffee shop. He sits alone, sipping whiskey, watching the game as well. That guy looks like an adventurer, but it's a dangerous adventure, I think. Enjoying the game? I know that we are winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. My team opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based on our win loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. <laughs> That's where you are wrong, since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, as both sides are playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quite cheer ripples throughout the bar. I rise a respectful glare at the man drinking whiskey, who rises his in response, and an unspoken truce is formed between us based on a mutual love for the game. He mentions it to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey, and the man slides over one over to me. I prefer whiskey over beer any time. Hello. Ah, uh, the name is Robert. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Robert, I have to say. Nice jacket. Is that a tattoo in your hand? Thanks. I'm Kay. Hi. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Mm. Robert chuckled. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best for in town. As slimy as it is, you never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Hey. <laughs> no, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. I... Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. I know that feeling. Okay. <sighs> You're a whiskey fella or a beer fella? I'm a whiskey fella. Beer, but I drink most things. <sighs> you like shots? Love shots. Oh, oh, it's got some hearts. Nice. Thank God. Robert nods to Neil, who serves us two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Here's to your health. Oh, thank you very much. He takes the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I tried my hardest not to look tough. Hey. hey, wait. I think this is what making friends is. Damn it, Amanda was right. I'm making friends. I, I am in conversation with him. On Okay, okay, this guy is out of your friend league, but I think if I play more cards right, we'll be held some more time. Uh, Comments of jacket, comments hand tattoo. Tattoo or jacket tattoo, not the rather good luck. That would be me hitting on him. I don't want to be friends or lover. Not, not now, you know. I think it sticks to tattoo. I like it tattoo. What does it mean? Oh. Uh, he doesn't like that. Um, that's a reminder. I wait for him to elaborate, but it seemed like he is not talking. And this guy is mysterious and cool. Yeah, and it's the type of guy that rips your heart out, put it in a um, mixer, and makes a smoothie out of it. Hey, way cooler than I am, at least. Robert seems to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? A lot of keeping me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. Um, I'm running from my problems, you know, the usual level. <laughs> oh, that's the like. I like your style. He gets up. I... Be right back, I got a powder on my nose. Do you mean what I think that it means, powder your nose? Or do you mean powder your nose like some conspirational, you know, checking my phone and getting the. Uh, aluminum foil pyramid in my hat, stuff like that. Never seen Robert this talkative. He mm, must like you. Mm, oh, I like ha, I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a rough charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Yeah. Ah. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. Mm. I'm gonna go home. You're heading. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Hi. I live in this cool sack down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Oh. A great place to be, a great neighbor as well. Some of them. 
Who's that? We get to Rebel's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We still have any chance to me. Mm. I don't kiss until K. Mm. So, are we doing this or what? Huh? I'm blushing. Huh? Hey. You know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rush over me. I blush. Mm. Shall we try a little adventure? The thing is, I don't know if it influences my further gameplay if I have an adventure with Robert now, but on the other hand, Demi is rough looking, isn't he? Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on! Robert takes my hand and leads me upstairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I, uh, I don't normally do this. You wanna stop? Hell no! Come on, we're we are in his bedroom. Let, let's do it! No. God. Robert continues to unbox my bed and guides me to the bed. Well, let's have some fun. I hadn't expected that the girl so smoothly. Oh, alright. We skip the dirty part. I think that's good. I don't want an air rating on one of on such a first episode. Alright. Sunlight streams in between the slats of the blind. My head is pounding. I really over it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my house house. Oh, my new house? Where am I? What's it? Oh, right. I look around for Robert but find myself alone. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. Ha! Huh, that was fun. Yeah, I'm not your first adventure, aren't I? Yeah, um, it was. Ah, you should go. Told you. I told you. I told you he's a bad adventure. All right. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, um, talk to you later. Maybe a phone number or inbox or, you know, I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. I would crack a smile. Sure. You're closer was there. It doesn't I don't know. I... Yeah, maybe it was a one time adventure. Mm, Alright. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun was unbearable bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember Amanda I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda? Uh... Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Oh man. I was kinda of hoping you had gotten kidnapped and I was gonna have to come rescue you, like a true hero daughter, yeah! No, um, I made a friend in the palace and ended up <coughs> sleeping over at uh, his place, you know, adult stuff, you know. Uh, where's Emma? Ah. Not a little while ago. Oh, um, you guys had some fun? <laughs> yeah, watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, usual sleepover stuff. Your teens and you lost me. So, this is breakfast and cooking. What's it all about? Mm. Well, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I. Aww. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, my sweet child. My head swaps. Oh, I gotta do something about this hangover. Amanda, your loving father might have it overdone a little bit last night. No, somebody sang over. Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or anything. <laughs> I've just got to sing. Hang on. <laughs> Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Oh, it's pickle juice. Amanda, what? Yeah! Drinks it. It's pickle juice? It really works. Let me tell you, as a former student, it really helps. It's disgusting as hell, especially when your stomach isn't the best in the morning when you're hangover, but it helps. Ah. Yeah, that's what I used to wear. Uh, um, what I assume someone would use, I would also assume that it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. Although I've never tried it before and won't try it, never. I'll leave my fingers off of alcohol or... 
Oh, who is it? Man, man. Give her a stone. Yeah, she is so excited. Yeah. Eh? I, I have suspiciously. I am the draft pickles even more suspiciously. This better work. I don't the zip of the torches. Eh? Oh, no, no, no. More of that. Way more than that. Uh, ah. I mean, I assume. Ah. What should you. I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. <laughs> well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Wig, okay? He said it was important. Love ya! I'll be there. Knock on that, Kegel. Nah. Always do. We do our secret handshake and cheese off. I get a little work done and at home before I glaze on my watch and see that it's almost time for the meeting. I hop in the shower, change clothes and head more my way, still a little hungover. If life gives you lemons, pause. I arrive at Amanda school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. And this will be for this episode today. I'm a lot of time. I have to get constant eye on the time. Also, the file gets big and my computer crashes while I try to render it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I certainly did read a little bit. I'm sure it's Robert. Oh, he's a nice rough guy, but oh, I think I burned my fingers here. Yeah. Alright. If you enjoyed my video as much as I do, please let me know. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe for daily new content. And never forget, being weird is just a side effect of being awesome. See you in the next video. Until then, ciao!